Okay, so next part of the video will be controller functions. So I've shown you the functions of the app, but obviously you're going to control the craft from the controller. Again, if you're used to DJI craft, this will all seem fairly straightforward. Uh, I'll be honest, if you're used to even ready to control helicopters, this is a little bit different. The controls are slightly different. Um, so you've got two controls. Here we go. This is your main flight controller, flight controls. So it's quite simple. Um, that is to increase altitude. That would be hovering. Decrease altitude, and that will be hovering. This turns your craft left. That turns your craft right. That will bank you to the left, that will bank you to the right. Push that stick, will fly you forward, and pull the stick, will fly you back. Um, the on off button we covered. Uh, this is the home button. For example, for whatever crazy reason, the screen packed up, something I don't know, you hit that home button and the craft will fly home. You can, if you regain control for whatever reason, um, or your screen comes back on, uh, you can take control again. It's not the be all and end all. Right, spinning round to the controls here and there. So first ones actually, we'll come to here. So the first one you've got, that is the record button, obviously start, stop, video. That is the gimbal tilt, so that'll tilt the gimbal up and down. It is proportional, small amount of movement, gimbal moves a little bit. Lots of movement, gimbal will move much faster, and you can set all this up in the app on how sensitive that is. Now, here is your special function function thing. I'm going to put that back on because um, whoever owns this next will be a beginner at some point. You've got your different flight modes here. So what you have is you've got... Um, this is like your GPS mode, so that will basically be position hold, where you let go, craft will sit exactly where it wants. Next one down, you've got your S mode. Um, this is, of course, if you have activated the advanced flight functions, as I showed you earlier. Uh, this will give you all the stability, but not position hold. This is quite a popular flight mode of videographers who want lovely gliding, smoothing shots. They don't want to let go of the control, and then it, it kind of you get a shot like as if an anchor has been dropped out of a boat, and it suddenly stops. And then the bottom one is actually sport mode. What sport mode is, it's crazy mode. Craft is mega fast. Um, one thing to remember that a obstacle avoidance does not work in sport mode. It's so fast it would not be able to stop in time. To be honest, it's good for a bit of fun or if you get caught in a really high wind and you have to get back up wind, you can drop into sport mode. I'll be honest, to actually shoot video in sport mode, half the time the craft is banking over that steeply, the gimbal gets a little bit upset and will probably go limp. So, but again, if you're not sure, leave that up there sticker back on and you won't be tempted to touch it so that's the buttons on that side buttons on this side hope this is all in focus otherwise i'm going to be making this video again um here we have another scroller function what this does is um you can actually cus custom set what this button does but j when it comes out the box oops <laughs> what this does if i can just quickly flick this around and i'm going to be able to get this in shot it's going to be upside down but see all your camera functions along here and if i press that see it's gone blue you can adjust it gone blue and then when i twist the wheel see that's your exposure running up and down so really handy if you're just flying you want a quick camera adjustment boom and you can adjust it so that's what that one does uh, this one here is for whoops that is for taking pictures, which actually auto focuses. That must have been a firmware update because I never used to auto focus. So that is actually quite good. Um, and this is a pause function. What that was f is for is, you know, I showed you earlier with the special flight features. There is one called like waypoints, etc. There's lots of automated features, I should say, where the craft will be flying itself. If it were impending doom, and something has moved into the road of it and you're panicking and you can't get to the screen to switch off hit the pause button it will stop what it's doing so if you're at a point of interest and it's going round and suddenly you're like oh my god i'm going to clip the tree i never noticed that boom pause then you sort of think well actually okay it, it wasn't actually that close boom hit it again and it will continue on its merry way right moving on we have connectivity here we have a few uh, sockets now traditionally on a phantom uh, on a, on the 
Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4, where you'd actually have your own tablet on top here, not this built-in monitor, this is actually where it would connect in. Your sort of standard charging USB cable would go from here to the monitor. You obviously don't need that. Um, you have HDMI, which is quite cool. So if you wanted to run a live feed like into a monitor or something, you could be doing a live event or something. Because remember, these craft are at professional grade and doing live events, although remember, rules and regs for live events you cannot fly over live events or gatherings of more than a thousand people you have to be 150 meters away so don't be thinking you can just go rocking over a concert and stream like live coverage to your mates that's not going to happen sd card what that is for is for um taking stuff from the tablet there's a usb socket at the end but to be honest i think that's just a future proofing thing doesn't actually do anything on the back of the controller there are a couple of hotkeys again these are advanced features but you can use these for setting things they're also used for the advanced flight functions for example when you're flying waypoints so that's like an autonomous flight where you would fly the flight and you would each time you hit the button it would record a position you fly onto the next one hit the button record a position and then what you can do is you can have the craft fly through those coordinates and that's how you set the positions so they get used for lots of different things again that's for future videos etc and not again for beginners um, obviously in the side there you did see that that was for charging always remember to pop that back in because see if you jam it back into the box and that's hanging out you'll actually tear that off you can buy them DJ don't sell things like rubber bobbins uh, on their own so that is the covering of the main features of the uh, Phantom controller. Just a one little tip, it's white and it's gonna get dirty, especially all those lovely rubber bits. A wee tip for keeping these lovely and clean. See if you use like baby wipes or toilet wipes or like these little surface wipes, wipe them down with that. Cause see all this, the little rubber bobbins. In fact, there you go there. I mean, this is a brand new craft. See the little bobbins are dirty? You know what that is? The workbenches at DGI, they're probably dirty and it's just picked it up because um, that is brand new at the box uh, so give them a wipe and it just i know it's just me but i like to uh, give them wipes so when we get crafting for um servicing and repairs they always come in dirty i like to give them a good wipe and then when you give them back it's like when you hand your car in for servicing now one other thing i'm going to tell you about when you get your craft you'll see your antennas are folded down like that absolutely no good they must be folded out up like this and the way it works is the, the signal does not emanate out the tip going out that way towards camera. They emanate out that way. It's like a sort of sideways emanation. So um, simple as if you're flying far and high, have the paddles pointing towards crap. If for whatever reason you were flying almost on the spot and above yourself, pop the paddles down and it emanate out the way, but never have the antennas pointing up at the craft because that is its blind spot. So always remember that. So if you ever get a weak signal warning, chances are you haven't realized because the screen is blocking the antennas, you can't see them, and that has happened. Okie dokie.